Hello, in this video we're going to have a quick look at steel design in GSA. And uh, we have this simple uh, prop cantilever that we looked at before. And first of all, I'm going to set the design properties. So the steel design, we need to set the steel design code, and there are a number in here. I will go for the British Euro code, default steel grade, and we've got to set the default internal restraints. Um, so there's various options including lateral torsional buckling on the top flange if we want by default and we can set concrete grades and so on as well but don't need that at the moment so the materials um, we still have our S355 um, steel grade and we go to the properties we see at the moment we have a single beam section. Now for steel design we need to choose a good um, section so we need lots of them and the way we do that is add them in. So just I'm just going to clear that off and right click and say add catalogue sections. Can also do this for standard steel sections but I have a catalogue sections. Um, set my catalogue to British I type to universal beams and I can select all of those or a subsection there are sections that I know that I'm not interested in the name is going to be given it's defaulting to um, D which is the description that we can change that if we want and importantly I need to add to a pool which means these are the sections that the beams will be um, chosen from I'm going to do the set some of the steel design attributes for these and see well these are all hot rolled finished and um, set the other parameters as we wish. So, okay to that. It adds in um, nearly 92 sections. Now, similarly, if you want to do for plate girders, um, we can say add standard steel section and say, um, let's say a step from 300 um, to 600, step 50. Um, 200, um, 250, 300, so, and so on, 20, 10, oh, and, and this would create um, a number of sections. Let's just go with these two sections. And also, quick hack, I am going to edit, I don't like the full name, I'm just going to use the search and replace option to select um, cat. S I U B space don't match in time, but do match the selection and replace all those. It just tweaks the name down a bit. Let's see. Now they're a bit shorter. Still the set buffer here, which is very important, but the name is a bit simpler. Right, under design, you'll see the steel section pools are there. Um, and call that beams. Don't need to give it a name, but it's useful. All right, so now we're ready. Let's, let's go back to the analysis there, and we can see that um, there's the permanent loads, there's variable loads, and if we analyze, we then have the ultimate real estate combination case, which we created earlier. Okay, back to the design layer. So we need to set the design properties for this section. Um, or you can get to the industry, it's in fact done down here. I think it's easy to bring up the wizard and I'll go to the next page and say end one, which is this pin end. When it's pinned, this other end is going to be fixed. Or if you want to change any detail, you can open this up and see all the various detailed options we can choose from which derive the um, direct effective length of the beam. For the span, we can also say, well, calculate from end restraints and say all spans are going to be, say, top flange lateral restraints. All points, if there are beams coming in, would also have some sort of restraints as well. And finish. So, we have the beam. Um, we can check this, so I'm going to create a design task. 
still do one day members. Maybe it's all. Combination case is going to be our ultimate state. Target utilization is one. And our limit is, let's say, 0.5 um, for beams which are not working very hard. Minimize weight, minimize cost or depth. Um, so there's various options in here to um, choose from. If there are, say, minimize weight, or, um, and there's several with the same weight, it will choose the shirt one. I'm going to just do a check on that. So we should now have um, the check. And you see, it's, it's working quite hard. In fact, if we also if we, um, look at the results um, and look at the utilization, we see the utilization is running at six quite high. Um, so let's see what section size that should be. I'll go back to my design tasks. This time I'm going to right click and say design. And I'll go back to, well, change this back to utilization. And you see we've now got a much larger beam, which is um, section 10. 254146 with a utilization um, of 0.968, which is a beam um, which is working well. Okay, 